Hi, I'm Tsuyoto Harada. Now I will show you the abstract to our study. Our study is on antidepressant induced jitterness anxiety syndrome. Patients often experience worsening of neuropsychiatric symptoms such as anxiety and agitation after they have started taking an antidepressant. Even when TCAs were mainly used for treatment of depression, such phenomena were well known and often referred to as jitterness syndrome. And the neuropsychiatric symptoms emerging after starting SSRIs is sometimes referred to as activation syndrome. But the term activation syndrome has not yet been defined, so in this study we use the term jitterness anxiety syndrome instead of activation syndrome. In 2004, the FDA warned of the risk for activation syndrome, including these symptoms, which might appear at the start of taking an antidepressant and increased risk of suicide. There are a lot of studies focusing on the relationship between antidepressant use and suicidality, but only a few studies focused on the instance and predictors of jitterness anxiety syndrome. So the aims of our study were to investigate the instance of jitterness anxiety syndrome and to examine its predictor. We prospectively surveyed 301 patients who had not taken any antidepressant for one month before presentation and who were prescribed antidepressant for one month after their initial visit. Patients were classified as developing jitterness anxiety syndrome if they experienced any of the symptoms included in FDA warning I mentioned before. Of the 301 patients, 21 patients developed jitterness anxiety syndrome. Among the 21 patients with the syndrome, one patient developed suicidal ideation but none of them showed self-harm and attempted suicide. Only the two independent variables were significantly associated with the induction of jitterness anxiety syndrome. One is a family history of mood disorder in first-degree relatives. More than one-third of the patients who have a diagnosis of mood disorder in first-degree relatives developed jitterness anxiety syndrome. The other independent variable is major depressive disorder. This diagnosis was also significantly associated with the induction of jitterness anxiety syndrome. So the findings of this study suggest major depressive disorder and the diagnosis of mood disorder in first-degree relatives may be clinical predictors of antidepressant-induced jitterness anxiety syndrome.